Hi, my name is Victoria Harrell. I am 15 years old and I've been doing dance for around 13 years. I've done jazz, ballet, tap, lyrical, contemporary production, and open, are there open styles? I only have this group, but uh, um, so I'm freelance dancer. So like I sometimes join another group, like for the project, or or teaching to many studios. <laughs> I was introduced to dance at a very young age. I was around three years old. I did my first recital. As far as why I've been dancing for this long is because of the experiences of performing, getting new costumes, new choreography, new music. I created my team um, of my contemporary dance project, No Rock. I have six dancers and then everyone is a freelance. Everyone has different team, different life. I do the direction and then the choreography. We create together, so I do some direction, but uh, everyone does choreography. Compared to other dance styles like jazz and traditional ballet, um, contemporary gives it more meaning and gives a story behind the dancing with its music and its lyrics and it, we use that to give emotion in the dance. Uh, usually, um, I do something emotional from in myself. During the general life you you're living, so you're living the life and then you feel something, or you get any emotions. So I take the source of the piece from um, like experience of the life. So I'm looking for like this experience brings us to where, like to what kind of future what we can think or if we can dream or three C's in Japan they they didn't make a lockdown. The Japanese people is quite serious so <laughs> the country says like please don't go out or <laughs> yeah, try to take distance. And, uh, but everyone was staying home and um, working in the house and try to not go out to shopping or blah, blah. And uh, ballet school was closed and the rehearsal space was closed. So we stopped the uh, rehearsals. My motivation was really like, got down. Like, I couldn't think about like, to do something together. It was too hard to think about or imagine because it's illegal to be together. <laughs> Um, COVID has affected my dancing because I happen to have a small attention span and learning virtually. Um, there's always things in my way that gets my attention instead of the actual dancing. So also another huge thing is learning the dances online. When I get back in person, I end up learning the wrong, the wrong step and stuff like that and like doing other things. So I have to like re- not really learning, but learning it on the other side. Actually, last summer we had a plan to do a big performance. We decided to not doing it 
uh, I changed the plan of the pieces, a uh, piece. I didn't make the something, um, I didn't make the scene doing together or like contact improvisation. I cut that kind of thing. And then, um, yeah, main theme is like everything is like solo, 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 solo. <laughs> because I couldn't think about to do anything together. Um, also, on our competitions that we had so far, I've lost a lot of my skills that I've had recent, not recently, but before. Um, we can't hook up anymore for our cake lines or anything. And then it's a little more messier with everything because, you know, we have masks and our formations are really bad because we can't see with them and we can't tell if we're far enough or close enough. And also, like, I really like the chemical <laughs> happens, like, when people met, meet face to face. So we, I cannot do the rehearsal online. I have to touch or feel something, feel like heat or so it was difficult. Actually, I was really like sad that uh, I feel like my job was uh, re refused from the society. <laughs> yeah, like it's not necessary to live or something like this. I really hate masks. <laughs> <laughs> But we have to wear masks during the rehearsal. We don't know what kind of place you are doing under the mask do, during dancing. So I told them, okay, let's try take it out once before going to the stage. Okay, they take it out and then they danced. <laughs> Their face was really weird. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it was really weird. They couldn't smile or, or like maybe uh, they were smiling but like fake we never know what what's gonna happen in the future <laughs> in any time so yeah i thought a lot last year and uh, what's important is uh what i want to do like to be clear what I want to do, what is my attitude. So to make it clear is the most important thing in the life. That's what I thought. Because if I don't know what I want to do, I really lose the way. So that's what I thought during the pandemic.